On Friday nights, when the lights are bright and the players take to the field, an athlete students admire is linebacker Gavin Riggs. And here's how it all began. Every Sunday after church, my grandma, grandma would always watch the Kansas City Chiefs and like, I guess I always wanted to play and then I saw my older brothers play football and that's what spared me to actually want to play football too. Fast forward to his senior year and Gavin was elected captain of the football team by his teammates. It was surreal. I mean, I never thought of myself as a leader as much. I knew I was one of the role models of the group, but I never thought I was going to be someone who everyone looked up to like that. Even the coaching staff thinks very highly of Gavin's ability. He's the type of he's the type of uh, young man that people want to emulate. They want to know uh, you know why he's doing what he's doing. They want to see the decisions he's making and emulate that. And you know, it, and his uh, his teammates voted him captain this year. Um, he's always been the uh, you know this past year he's also the vocal leader, and uh, he was great to be around. Despite the rewards of playing football, Gavin finds the relationships that he makes with his teammates more gratifying. It's something that a bond you will never forget because, mind you, you're spending almost every day of the year with them, thinking about them, you know, everything. So I just said the bonds. Gavin excels greatly in the sport of football and has even received multiple offers from different colleges. But when the season comes to a close and it's time for him to hang up his helmet, Gavin begins training for track season, where he competes in multiple different events, including the 100 meter dash and the 200 meter dash. Um, it's pretty simple, so it's, I feel like a lot of people can do it. And when you can beat a lot of people who can do something simple, it's pretty, uh, pretty fun. After so many years of experience, Gavin can recall every detail before an event begins. When you're in the blocks, you just get, it's like, you're a gun waiting to go off and you're just listening for one sound and everything else just blacks out. You can't hear anything else besides the starter. And once you hear the gun go, then that's when everything comes back into a reality and you hear everything else around you. But for those 10 seconds you're in the block, you don't, you don't hear anything. And when times get rough, Gavin continues to work hard for his grandmother. I love my granny. Um, she's a hard-working woman. Um, she, like I said, she's 72 years old, still working. She could have retired a long time ago, but she's still working for me. And that honestly makes me want to work harder for her to make her proud, to know that she didn't waste her time on me. And despite of what Gavin thinks of himself, his coaches still believe in his ability to succeed. We, uh, we wish Gavin the best. We hope he comes around when he's in town in the future, and we, uh, we think he's going to do great things as an adult. For Stampede TV, I'm Thomas Jones, signing off.